My conceptualization of contrapuntal psychoanalysis in my second book, Freud and Said, Contrapuntal Psychoanalysis as Liberation Praxis, is inspired by Edward Said's contrapuntal methodology. This is a humanistic way of reading texts critically and generously, simultaneously. Said borrowed the term from music theory, wherein counterpoint signifies two different melodies playing together. As I show in Freud and Said, the latter was interested in psychoanalysis. Sigmund Freud's method of dream interpretation influenced his understanding of textual interpretation in many ways. In other words, contrapuntal interpretation implies reading a text on two levels, the latent and the manifest. In culture and imperialism, for instance, Said cites Jane Austen's Mansfield Park as an example of how the manifest world of Mansfield Park is possible because of the latent world of the slave plantation in Antigua. This is the unconscious of Mansfield Park, we may say. Therefore, contrapuntal psychoanalysis entails acknowledging both post-colonial psychoanalysis, often referred to as psychoanalysis, and decolonial psychoanalysis, which is stretched from the perspective of the damned. Whereas the primary negation in post-colonial psychoanalysis is repression, the primary negation in decolonial psychoanalysis is oppression based on race, sex, and or class. In other words, a contrapuntal psychoanalyst is someone interested in the unconscious of psychoanalysis. That is, seeing psychoanalysis through the eyes of its negated other who is often non-European said identified the radical potential of psychoanalysis in this paradox embodied by the founder. Is psychoanalysis a European or Eurocentric discourse founded by a non-European?